everybody, Vampire Lord 1024, and this is my 41st Creepy Locations in Video Games video. This is another Earthbound location in the game, uh, more specifically towards very close to the end of the game. And once again, I'm going to have to talk about the area, so there are going to be spoilers for those of you that have not played Earthbound and have not gotten this far into the game or have not watched my full Let's Play on Earthbound that I did a few years ago. So anyways, the Cave of the Past, as I said, is pretty much towards the end of the game. It's the um, second to final area, I guess you could call it an area, <clears throat> in um, Earthbound. And um, basically... You go there after your second visit to the Saturn Valley, home of the weird little Mr. Saturn things. I don't know really what they are, they're some aliens, but um, yeah, you go to the Cave of the Past through Dr. And Donuts's uh, face distorter, I believe that's what it was. See, because uh, this fat kid that is pretty much well, the final, one of the final bosses of Earthbound, again, spoiler warning, <laughs> um, named Pokey Minge, or Porky Minge, whichever you want to call him, uh, he basically steals one of Dr. Ant Donuts's face distorter time machines that uh, looks like a Mr. Saturn for some reason, like the design of it, except for the color of this, uh, time traveling thing is silver instead of the, you know, normal skin color of a Mr. Saturn. You know, that probably makes no sense, but basically Ness, uh, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh, yes, the boy from uh, that one far up mountain uh, place or whatever on the mount, like on the very top of the mountains uh, that has the uh, ponytail and that's all that he has on his hair. Or his head, I mean. Um, basically, all four of them go to uh, the Saturn Valley again, and they hop inside of the phase distorter, and it takes them to this other place. Now, you can actually uh, visit a little bit of the cave of the past um, a little bit ways before you get to the fire spring and before you get to the... Uh, Carbon Dog slash Diamond Dog uh, Sanctuary Boss. You can visit a little bit of the uh, Cave of the Past. Uh, but you can't explore most of it. Uh, basically, the Cave of the Past itself is kind of weird. There's not much there. It has a really weird, you know, sound playing. Um, and then um, there's these, like, twisted, like, horn things or whatever, you know, that are on the ground for some reason, but um, anyways, um, you go talk to Dr. And Donuts one final time, and he'll ask you if you're ready to basically go travel to uh, the actual Cape of the Past. And you do, and then he has them all lie down, and then basically he somehow turns them into these uh, kind of square-looking robot things that are supposed to be them. Uh, so that way they can go into the past for some reason, I don't know. Earthbound logic, I guess. And that's pretty much where um, the next part of the game takes place. You are now a robot as well as the other three party members of, of uh, yours. And uh, you can't really go back and do anything else in the game that you might have missed because this is pretty much the point of, as I say, no return. You know, within the game, you know, because it's towards the end of the game. Um, and, um, well, the Cave of the Past has some really weird enemies, you know, it has some Starmen in it, um, some harder enemies here and there, uh, it can be a bitch to go through. Of course, uh, the Cave of the Past also leads up to the final area of the game, um, where Pokey, or Porky, ninjas and his, uh... Again, spoiler warning, Spider Mech, which I'll probably be talking about 
and another creepy location in video games video of mine coming up, as well as Gygus himself, or itself, whatever. Um, really, that's about it, um, but really, the key of the past is creepy because it has well, creepy enemies. Um, you are basically becoming a robot, traveling back into the past, and, you know, your whole body and your soul is not there or whatever. Um, the music's creepy too, so, and, you know, it's just a place of pretty much loneliness within the game, and, uh, personally, I would not want to visit the cave of the past in, uh, real life if it was real. Uh, pretty much none of these places in real life, if they were real, I probably would not want to visit any of them. Uh, any of these, uh, creepy locations in video games, um, that I've made videos on. I know, that's probably just random, but... Hey, I gotta have something to talk about. So, um, anyways, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you've made it all the way through this and have enjoyed the creepy location and video game video, then please give it a share. Please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on all of your notifications. Oh, and of course, you can always follow my social medias, which are always listed below video in the description of the video. I did want to mention that this is a premiere, or it was a premiere, we're watching this when it premiered. Um, oh yeah, and if you want to, I would definitely suggest uh, either playing Earthbound yourself, or you know, checking out my full Let's Play on Earthbound. You can just go to my channel here and just type in the word Earthbound, or better yet, Earthbound number one. And then hit search, boom. Click the uh, video, start watching, and uh, hopefully you all enjoy that. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Until then.